You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans. So Diane Jenkins is up to something and she is conspiring with someone you would not expect and it's all set to blow up soon and it's probably the last person you might think it would be. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt and we're going to dive into a huge twist coming this week because all is not as it seems on Young and the Restless. Please click subscribe and now let's dive into this twisted tale on the CBS Soap. So this week... Nikki Newman is ready to strangle Diane. She thinks that Diane broke Jack Abbott's heart and is trying to feed Victor Newman's endless vendetta against Jack. You'll see scenes this week of Nikki threatening Diane and trying to shake some information out of Victor about what revenge plans that he and Diane might have cooking. If you're current on your YNR episodes, you'll know that Jack tossed Diane out of the Abbott Mansion and he fired her from Jabot. And he told Kyle and Tracy that he's planning to annul their marriage on the basis of fraud instead of getting a divorce because she's done nothing but lie since she came back to town. Meanwhile, Diane has moved over to the GCAC and she told Nikki and Victor what happened and made sure they knew she was looking for payback on her estranged husband and her traitorous son, Kyle Abbott. And of course, you know, Victor bought Glissade and he hired Kyle to run it with Audra. And then Kyle did the unthinkable, the lowest thing. And he stole a Jabot product design that Glissade is about to launch. So Diane has gone to Victor to tell him she wants to run Glissade and she wants him to fire Kyle. She told Victor that will devastate Jack because she knows that above all, the mustache wants to hurt Jack and will use Kyle to do it. So that's where we are, but things are about to get doubly twisty. And, you know, you cannot ever tell what Victor is going to do next. The man is a master of chess, and he's always moving pieces around the board in unexpected ways. And later this week, he does something unexpected with Kyle and Diane, pitting them against each other to decide who he's going to side with ultimately. So Victor tells Kyle that Diane is planning to sue Glissade over the product that Kyle stole from Jabot, which is kind of dumb because she can't sue because Diane doesn't even work at Jabot anymore and it's not her product. Anyway, Victor tells Kyle about his mom wanting revenge on him. And then when Diane walks up on the conversation, Victor leaves mother and son angry at each other to rip each other to shreds. So after they bicker, Diane walks away from Kyle and heads straight to Victor's office to confront him. Nikki's there. She asks to talk to Victor alone, but his wife won't leave. So Diane just lets him have it. She's already annoyed with Nikki. And now that she won't leave, she's just like, fine. And so Diane tells Victor, you better do what I want. Give me control of Glissade and fire Kyle. Otherwise, you know, this lawsuit thing is going to be problematic for Victor's company. So Diane tells Victor she's just about out of patience and he tells her to go. So then Nikki blows up at Victor about him chasing revenge on Jack. But of course, he ignores her. And then Victor turns around and confronts Nikki and says, don't act surprised about me being the investor behind Glissade. I know that Jack already told you. And of course, Victor hates her even being around that guy. So that's the setup. That's all the setup for this big twist with Diane. So it looks like Victor is pitting Diane against Kyle and pitting both of them against Jack. And Victor is feeling very smug and like he's about to get everything he has wanted, all of his vendettas achieved. But then back in her room with the GCAC, Diane makes a call to a mystery person after she gives Victor that ultimatum in front of Nikki. And Diane tells this person, things are not going as we planned. So who's the we? And what did they plan? Who is she conspiring with? So there's four choices to consider, but I'm pretty sure I know who it is. So first off, you might think, well, it's Victor. 
but it's not. He's the easiest one to dismiss. Diane wouldn't have called him to say the plan's going off the rails after just seeing Victor if he were her partner in this scheme. So it's not him. Easily out of the way. Second, somebody else to consider that has skin in the game is Audra Charles. She is furious at Victor and at Kyle, and she wants Glissade back under her control. You know, Audra tried to do some scheming with Jack, but he refused to work with her. So there's a chance that maybe Diane is working with Audra, even though Diane doesn't like her. But there's that whole, the enemy of my enemy is my friend thing. However, I suspect it is also not Audra. So the third somebody to consider is a guy that Diane has conspired with before, somebody else with a vested interest in Glissade, the guy guy who originally owned it, Tucker McCall. I would love to see Trevor St. John back to YNR for sweeps. And of course, Tucker would love to get his hands back on Glissade, but I just don't see it being him. As far as I know, Trevor St. John is gone for good, or at least gone for now. So here's who I think it is. Here is who is behind door number four. I think it is Diane's husband, Jack Abbott. I have suspected for quite a while that they are working together. They really love each other, and Diane has really changed since she came back to Genoa City. She has proved it to Jack. She earned his trust. She earned his love and devotion. I mean, I've said it here before that I haven't bought their breakup from the start for several reasons. First, Diane and Jack's fights have been in public and very loud for the most part, which is pretty tacky and out of character. Second, when they bicker at home, there's always someone in the room when Jack or Diane have crosswords with each other, and either there's somebody there or they're in a situation where someone could be listening or walking in on Jack and Diane. And then third, it just seemed kind of out of nowhere and very fast that they just gave up on their marriage, and we never saw him fire her that I recall. He he just said he did, and she just said he did. So I, I've doubted for a while that Jack dumped her, and when Diane makes that call on the Thursday U.S. episode, my gut said she's talking to Jack. So they don't reveal who it is, and I don't know how long it's going to be until they reveal who her co-conspirator is, but I feel like Diane and Jack have cooked up a plan to expose Victor's treachery to Nikki to make him look bad to his wife to destabilize his marriage, just like Victor tried to do to them. And like Victor targeted their son, Kyle, I think they're going to make the mustache look very petty to his kids, Adam, Victoria, and Nick, because, you know, Jack was just trying to help Nikki, but he's trying to make Jack out like a villain who was trying to kill her somehow. And it also seems like Victor working with Diane is going to bring her to Abby's wedding to make a scene with Kyle. That would really irritate Another kid of his, Abby, because if she thinks Victor's the reason Diane shows up on her big day to cause trouble, that's a problem. And I also think Jack and Diane have realized that they can't tell Kyle how awful Victor is. They have to let him experience how awful Victor is. They need their son to know he should have never chosen an outsider over family, but he won't believe them. So he has to go through something to see it for himself. So if Diane can get into Glissade, the other thing is she can ruin that product launch, do something to destabilize it, something like that, to save Jabot's stolen product from being sold under the other brand. Jack is the only person it makes sense for Diane to be working with. Of course, we'll have to wait and see. In photos for the wedding scenes, Jack is glaring when he sees Diane there. So if they are conspiring, then they're keeping the con going at his niece's wedding while literally everybody else remains in the dark. I cannot wait to see what's next in November sweeps with Diane and her partner in crime, which I truly hope is the love of her life, Jack Abbott. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. 
Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 